So what I have today is this wood sectional garage door that has gaps on the corners of the door. The middle of the door hits the floor, but the corners have gaps, and our customer is getting rats in the house. So you'll see on the corner there, it's about a little over an inch off the floor. As you go along, you see the middle is hitting the floor. Then you go down here, and again, there's a gap here. Enough for a rat to get in. So we want to get this gap out of here. So the only solution I can come up with is what we call scribing the door. I'm going to cut the door to the formation of the floor. We call scribing the door. See there's a crack there in the middle of the cement. And it could be why the foundation might have dropped down. So what I need to do is get my pencil and some wood I'm going to draw a line forming the floor on the door. Then I'm going to cut the door and it's going to fit to the bottom of the floor. But the only thing is you can only cut it to a certain point because the door is already installed. Basically you want to do this process before you install the door. But this door is over 20 years old and uh, they didn't do it in the first place. So we have to solve the problem. So we have to do it now. Like I said, the only thing is you have a bottom fixture here and the metal plate extends to about right here. So I can only cut the door up to this point. I can't go past this point. And also there's a strut on the door, which I think I have about an inch and a half space where I can cut. I think we're just barely gonna make it. Here's a look at the inside. See this plate I was talking about? See, we can't cut to this point. We need our cut to end before we get to this plate here. Also, we have this strut here, so we can't go above this. Can't cut above it, because it's metal. And I don't really want to take it all apart. So we're gonna work it out the way it is. So here we are at the end of the door, and you'll see, uh, a two by four is too big because it's not gonna work because my line is gonna be interfering with that plate and a one by four is not enough. So what I found is this camera. It's an old Genie infrared camera and it actually works perfect. This is actually the perfect size, see, because that's where I wanna cut to. And then what you do is you have a pencil like this and I'm going to run this on the floor, along the door. I'm going to make a line on the door following the floor. Then I'm going to cut that line and then the garage door is going to come down and sit on the floor. So that's the plan. Hopefully it works out. So now to start the process, since I got the perfect space I want to go, I'm going to take my pencil here, run it on the floor. So, and get a line on the door, like this, here we go, Good idea to put some primer 
bottom of the door after you cut it. So here's the weather strip that goes on the bottom of the door. And this is going to be nailed on with roofing nails. And there's two ways you can put it. You can put it this way with this little lip here on the inside or you can put it this way with this lip on the outside actually there's not really a correct way you gotta just do it to your situation because in certain cases you want this to be out because it kind of it sits on the floor and it maybe keeps the water out or something but also at the same time when you have it out like this it interferes with the opening of the door when you put it this way the door opens up much smoother and the top, this doesn't hit the top of the jam or rub on the side of the jams. So I personally like to put it this way. But I'm going to take a look at it. I might have to put it this way. Let's see. Now we got the bottom scribed, we got the weather strip on there. I primed the bottom because it was bare wood. And you'll see we took out a lot of the gap there. Look along there, still down. Just this corner I was worried about. And we got a lot of the gap out. Hopefully it's enough to keep the rats out. But we'll just have to wait and see. And that's it.